highest education level achieved is a categorical variable. So a bar graph would be a good candidate here. Let's start by labeling the vertical axis. It looks like the highest percentage of current smokers is the no high school diploma at 24%. So we need to go at least that high. On our x-axis, we're going to put each of the education levels. Now that our axes are ready, all we have to do is add our bars. So for no high school diploma, the percentage was 24.2%. For high school diploma, 19.8%. Some college, 18.5%. Associate's degree, 16.6%. Undergraduate degree, 7.4%. And graduate degree, 3.6%. And we'll color it in to make it stand out a little better. Now, when we look at this bar graph, we can see that as education level increases, the percentage of current smokers is declining. So yes, there is association between smoking and education level. We can say as education level increases for US adults, the percentage of smokers declines. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.